Okay, so we're here on a 2011 Dodge Ram. And I want to show you how easy it is using one of these Autel scan tools to change the tire size, the gear ratio, and the axle uh, size that you have in the vehicle. So here we are in uh, body control module, or Technica is just body control unit. Then we're going to go here to Central Gateway. And that what, what is nice about a lot of Dodges is there there is a lot of programmability that you're able to do. And that's not just because of Autel, but that's because Dodge allows that. So we're going to go to Special Function. And let's see, so there's two pages. I'm not seeing it here. Okay. So, program tire size. Now we're gonna we're gonna check that first, but we're also going to focus on this one here: program tire size slash pinion factor. They're both basically the same thing when it comes to just the tire size. So here's program tire size. I'll kind of walk you through it and. And so what it says here, this function is used to update the tire circumference value stored in the tipum after changing the, the size of the tires on the vehicle. To restore the circumfer tire circumference to its original factory program value based on the sales code, please run restore vehicle configuration function. So we're going to hit OK to that. Now, what it shows here is not the program tire right now. So don't get that confused. Uh, so if you look up here, the currently programmed circumference value is 2480 millimeter, 2480 millimeters. And what that is, is the circumference of a tire in millimeters. So obviously the bigger the tire size, the, the bigger that uh, number will be in millimeters if you if you had a tape measure calibrated in millimeters and you wrapped it around the circumference of the tire this is the value you're going to get now this is what you do need to know about using the, these scan tools the only size tires that you can program into the vehicle are factory tire sizes tire sizes that only came on the vehicle from the factory so you hit the down arrow and it's going to give you a list of different tire sizes. So, you know, you can scroll through and there's a good selection. You got to figure out what tire size you have on the vehicle. Now, if you don't have any of these exact tire sizes, you can you can actually figure out if you go online, especially if you go to uh discount tires website there's a tire size calculator on their site that you can put in a uh you know the metric size of a tire say this lt 225 951 7d and it'll tell you what it'll tell you how tall that tire is i can't remember if it tells you the circumference i think it does uh it tells you the width uh the, how much sidewall uh that includes and you can so you can get a you can get the size of a tire as far as height and your equivalent. You know, so let's say that the let's say you put this tire size right here in the uh, discount tires website. It's going to tell you how tall that tire is. So if you've got a different brand tire on, you put that in discount tires. You see how tall it is, and then you start experimenting around with these. Uh, tires right here to see which one of these tires have the same uh, overall uh, diameter and then you just use that tire and it does the same thing you're basically you're going to be putting in the you know the tip them goes by this millimeter number so when you're picking one of these tire sizes you're just telling the tip them already knows what the uh, circumference of all these tires are so whenever you pick one of these the t the tip them will calibrate itself for that millimeter uh, circumference. So that's all there is. To, I'm not going to change this one because this truck's already set up, but I was just wanting to show that this is how easy it is 
to change the tire size. And obviously, there's two main reasons you want to change the tire size, or you want the you want the computer to to know how tall your tires are. It's not just to see, not just to have an accurate speedometer readout, but it also affects your shift points. Your transmission is going to shift properly whenever the proper size tire is programmed into the computer. So keep that in mind. So let's back out of this, and we're going to go to program tire size slash pinion factor. <clears throat> okay, you can use this function to program the tire size and axle information into the to uh, totally integrated power module, which is the TIPM. So first we'll go down through the tire size, which is basically going to show the same thing that we just uh, had. Now right now it shows what the current tire is programmed into the computer is. Hit OK. So there, there it is. And you can see we've got a little bit of a different format here, but all in all, it's going to end up being the same tire options. So you just scroll, pick out which tire size is on the vehicle, hit OK. It's that easy. Again, I'm not going to change that. So let's cancel out of this. Go back to it. We're going to get hit OK. We'll go to axle ratio. And say you change the gearing. The current value is 355 gears. This is all the options of gearing that you've got. Which is surprising to me that it goes all the way up to a 513 gear. That's a really, really low gear. So if you wanted to put different gears in your Dodge Ram, uh, use this all tell and you go right through it and figure out, you know, if you put 488s in, bam, 488s, bam, your shift points, your speedo is going to be correct. So you can go all the way down to a 321, all the way up to a 513. I mean, that to me is a pretty good range of gearing. That's probably covers just about any gears that anybody would want to put in a vehicle that you're going to continue to drive on the street. So, yeah, nice little feature there. So the last but not least, go back to axle size. Now, most people's not going to care about axle size because it doesn't change your speedo at all. This has got a 925 in it right now. but So some of these vehicles came with stability control. Some didn't. But if you swapped out the, the axle, uh, you can actually tell the computer what axle is in it. 10.5 inch without ESP. 10.5 inch with ESP. That's your electronic stability uh, control. Now, I think ESP is actually electronic stability control or... Uh, electronic stability program but it's just the electronic stability control again it's optional some vehicles will have it some vehicles won't you can pick what uh you know what axle size is in the vehicle and whether or not you have the electronic stability control and that i think is about all i wanted to go over with uh program and tire size and gear ratios and uh the, the axle, the actual axle that is in the vehicle. So, uh, like I say, that's a that's a really good function. I've always liked that about the Dodges and how much tire programmability they allow you to have with these aftermarket scan tools. Uh, GM is awful. I'm a GM fan. I have not found other than an aftermarket programmer. I have not figured out how to program the tire sizes on a GM, even using their, uh, uh, MDS, uh, program module. Yeah. I still, I don't know how GM, if you was to put taller tires on your vehicle and take it to the dealer, I don't know what the dealer uses to program the tire sizes. I don't know if they have to custom write a custom program to, to sell you or or how they handle that. But other than an aftermarket programmer, that's the only option I know on a GM. Now, Ford Ford and Autel, most Ford pickups do have an option for tire sizes. And it's 
it's a similar deal to this. You're, you're only going to be able to p pick from factory tire sizes. You have to keep in mind, this scan tool is just that. It's a tool to help a mechanic fix a vehicle. It is not meant to program non-OEM parameters into vehicles. That's where you have to buy those aftermarket programmers to be able to do that. Uh, Autel, Launch, Snap-on, they are not going to allow you to program tire sizes bigger or even smaller than what came on the vehicle, that what was offered on the vehicle when it was sold new. Whatever GM, Ford, or Chrysler allowed on those vehicles as an optional tire size, that's all you're going to get to pick from. So if you're thinking you're going to put 35s on and there's not a tire in the list that's 35 inches tall, you're not going to be able to program the tire size to be a 35 inch tall tire. That option is not going to be there. You would, you would literally have to use a uh, one of those third party programmers to uh, put in 35 inch tall tires. So keep that in mind. It'd be nice if they did have, if Autel, Launch, whoever, Snap on even, if they did allow taller tire sizes than factory, but I don't see them ever doing that. Uh, anyway, that's all I wanted to cover on, on, on this particular kind of, kind of a walkthrough, I guess, is going over the tire size options. So anyway, you guys take care. That's all I've got.